Watch out, America. The Snoop Society has a new gun grabbing tool. This one is an app that hopes to crowdsource your busybody neighbors and build a de facto gun registry. Gun Geomarker is a new tattle app for Android that allows users to flag any sites with a dangerous gun and its owner. In complete defiance of the Second Amendment, the app suggests marking the locations of any unlocked, loaded, or carelessly stored weapons. Are you a first-time gun owner or someone who hasn't yet taken the basic gun safety training? Well, Gun Geomarker considers you a real and present danger to the community, and your location will be marked right away. But wait, you're not a bad guy, but a well-meaning person who probably just bought your gun out of fear or lack of a sense of personal strength. Well, the app suggests its users confront and educate you on gun safety before flagging your house. However, if you are unable to recite these four basic rules, or even if you just become angry with your neighbor for asking you to do this task, well, the gun geomarker says they better mark your house ASAP. People who stockpile large arsenals or numerous assault weapons are likely a concern. Now, just having an NRA bumper sticker or other public displays supporting gun ownership aren't a big deal. But the app says when combined with radical anti-government propaganda, like that Ron Paul bumper sticker or flying a don't tread on me flag outside your home, well, these owners and their locations may well be worth flagging as a warning to others. The app also wants you to provide clear reasons why you may be concerned about the mental health of a gun-owning individual. So not only is the citizen Gestapo telling the world where you keep your guns, but they're also letting them know the state of your mental health, or really actually it's their opinion on the state of your mental health. Okay, so the app developer just wants to protect the kids around unlocked guns and label homes where dangerous criminals live, right? False. Although the app promises user anonymity, it suggests that if you're dealing with a really dangerous neighbor or a home you're certain is involved in organized crime, you should just tell the authorities rather than marking the home. Proving once again, it's not criminals who will be affected by a gun registry, but law-abiding citizens. In fact, those criminals might even actually benefit from the app by knowing exactly which houses to rob when it's time to restock their gun cash. But wait, it's an anonymous app, so what gives? Well, the gun geomarker only allows you to tag a site at which you are physically present. So you must feel comfortable standing there in front of the home for up to a minute while the geotag registers, without fear of being spotted and then probably shot at by your gangster, gun-toting neighbor. Another flaw with the app? There is no opt-out option or way to challenge an erroneous marking. Although the developer raises the important issue of unsupervised children around unlocked guns, the app's purpose is clearly stated on the website. If enough members of your community take the time to mark dangerous gun sites and owners, then this crowdsourced data may serve to save a life, or perhaps even influence national policy. Sorry, but I don't think flagging 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is going to do anything to change the policy of those with malicious intent. To learn more about the bottom line issue of gun control and the leaders who've embraced it, visit the InfoWars store and pick up a copy of The Magic of Gun Control by Sheriff Mack. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. <laughs>